the great Collinwood estate, Garth Blackwood, the demon master of Dartmoor Prison, relentlessly tracks down his victim. Whoever stands in the way of his deadly justice must die. And this stormy night, there are many who will learn to their horror that to the demon prison master, the whole world is a jail, and he alone holds the power of life and death over all its inhabitants. This night, Quentin Collins is preparing to leave the great house and Collinsport so that he can escape the dangerous Count Potoffi. But at Charles Tate's studio, Potoffi has already begun his battle to recapture Quentin's body. Though Quentin is unaware of this insidious danger, there is someone this night at Collinwood who can see the future and what she has just seen ahead for Quentin Collins fills her with terror. No time to lose. The minute Quentin falls asleep, Pitofi will have him. Forever. The minute he falls asleep. Mustn't sleep. Mustn't. Too much to do before I leave Collinwood. But maybe just for a minute. As the storm rages over the great house of Collinwood, a desperate trio fights to save the life of an exhausted Quentin Collins. For Angelique, Barnabas, and Charity know that the moment Quentin falls asleep, Count Patoffi in a trance at Charles Tate's studio will recapture Quentin's body. But nothing has been able to break the trance, and each minute, Quentin's danger increases. Now it is so grave the Charity, learning that a possession of Patoffi's could give Angelique more power over him, has secretly run off to the studio to steal something, knowing that in doing so she is facing the greatest peril of her life. You kill me if he comes to. Go on in, you dummy. Quentin ain't got all the time in the world. If I 
can just undo is time. Why did you come here? You let go of me. No, I won't let you go, my dear. You've interfered with my plans once too often, Miss Trask. This time you will be sorry for it. at the turn of the century. A young woman blessed or cursed with second sight has seen a fire raging in the studio where Count Patoffi and the demon goth Blackwood are locked in a death struggle. And in the same inferno, she has seen the portrait of Quentin Collins. And now the flames have died and Barnabas Collins searches among the ashes to find which lives have ended and which have changed forever. This was Patofi's. I'm sure of it. But what does it mean? Are they both destroyed in flames? Is this all that remains of Patofi? It's difficult to believe, but I must believe it. No one could survive a fire like this. Or could they? Collinwood, the turn of the century, a night in which Barnabas Collins means to marry Kitty Soames. Finally, he will have his Josette. But as she waits for him at the old house, she fights her premonition of doom. For if she gives in to the voices inside her, she knows she will become Josette and something terrible will happen to her. I must hurry and get ready. He's on his way. What am I doing? Why did I change my dress? I mustn't. I, I know I mustn't. Kitty. Kitty. Josette. 